Welcome. In this new course, Network and Systems Administration Technical Training, we will learn a lot of basic to intermediate level skills that are required for network administrations or systems administration. But before starting, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Danish. I'm the founder of Job Skills Share. We created this platform basically to build a bridge between the radical learning that you learn from college certifications or any type of programs and then when you go to a job usually a lot of things are mixed and you learn some things on the job so in this platform we like to create the bridge between these this type of trainings or learning where a lot of our members become our members because of this hands-on approach or the idea that we are bringing the skills together so that is a solution to a problem that started many many years ago we are all IT professionals as you can see from my LinkedIn profile I have over 15 years experience in IT and this is what I bring to this course that I am going to be also adding my skills to the network administrations and systems administration with other trainers that are part of this course now the important question is that who should take this course this course is designed for someone who is already working in IT as a help desk. You just landed a job in IT support, you spent six months and now you're thinking, what should I do next? Can I go to a next level? So this is something that we have created for that type of IT professionals. Or you just landed a job as a network admin, sysadmin, security admin or cloud administrator and you're new to some of the core networking or some of the core system administration and you want to get better because you just landed a job and you found out that there is a program or a course that i can take to make myself better for the current job or you are the it manager or you manage a team of it support professionals who are new to it or you're a service provider and you want to give your it professional something more advanced so then they can get ready for something more technical that you are about to teach them but before that you don't want to go through some basics of VPN IP addresses and even technical things later on cloud basics and stuff like that this course will be best for that type of team members but to explain this in a more visual way here is a diagram where a lot of people will start with IT support roles and they will spend six months or one year two year three year however many years but at some point, somebody will say, look, I want to move up to more advanced roles. And a lot of people will look at becoming a sysadmin, where most of them um, are working on Windows uh, operating systems like servers or maybe some cloud technology. Or someone will say, look, I, I need to do networking. So they already know I'm just going to do Cisco networking. I'm going to do routing and switching. And some will say, I want to do cybersecurity, so I'm going to go into cybersecurity. But the problem in these three areas are all of these three areas are very targeted. And that doesn't mean if you get in an IT admin role with a company, they will just say, oh, yeah, you're just going to work on Windows servers only. Now, don't get me wrong. You can get a job like that. But a lot of time when somebody say you're a network admin, you're a systems administrator, you're a junior IT administrator they're not just going to assign you one specific area it's a complex thing that's why it becomes very complex when you're learning everything is a mixture then so for mixture like this you just cannot jump into one specific area and be very good at it the only way you can learn all of these areas is when your transitioning skills your core admin level skills are good now core skills are basically f uh, true for every career that you're seeing every skill set that you're seeing right here even at the cloud level even in further behind let's say office 365 things like that the core skills are going to be required what do i mean by core skills core skills are like you know core services like dhcp understanding of dns understanding of packets understanding of server and client understanding of basic security understanding of how infrastructure works understanding of how everything is connected together and that is where then you can when you know 
this right here, then becoming a sysadmin, becoming a network engineer, becoming a cybersecurity professional, it's pretty easy after that. Now, it's not that easy, but of course, it's kind of clear to you. You know your pathway then. A lot of people, what they do is they jump into something very targeted and very specific right out of their IT support. So their time is invested. A lot of their time is invested in just learning about, let's say, server. And server Active Directory will be like everything will be inside that server. Like Microsoft is controlling that. But as soon as they get a job, then they will be configuring for some project, let's say, a router or a switch and they have no clue even how to operate the, these things right here from Cisco same thing if you just go straight to the networking then when 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 you get a project where you have to connect a DHCP with uh, networking devices and most likely a lot of people are using Windows servers for DHCP then you're clueless because you don't know how to operate anything on the server level so this is why when we created this course or this program we kept that in mind that first we need to clear core skills. We cannot just jump into something very specific. Even though we have programs, self-paced programs, labs, everything for very, very targeted skills. And that's when we, when you land a job, your core is good. You will be able to handle a lot of things. But then you will say, okay, you know what? My job is about servers more. So then because of your membership, you just go in straight into servers and you just invest more time into servers then. And then it kind of works pretty good for you on that job that you're doing. Same if you're doing networking, that you're just going to jump into networking labs. And anything that we have for networking, you're just going to do that specifically. If it's security, you're going to do security labs. If it's cloud-related Azure, you're going to get into Azure. If it's Office 365, you're going to do Office 365. But like I said, for someone who is transitioning, we in JSS do not do this. We don't jump into something specific because then you're applying for jobs. Everything is limited then. You're just very, you're stuck with one thing. And still, if you're coming from this area where you don't know the core skills, you're still going to be confused because we know you're going to get hit with these different things in, in your job and it doesn't make sense. So that's why our course and the program that we have created is for that purpose. But now you need to understand what is a program, why we call it program. So people will go to our homepage and they will come over here and they will click on details and apply for IT admin mentorship. They will pay that mentorship amount and then they will be invited to this program called IT admin uh, program for junior network administration. So this is when the member registered. We send them invitation. They get involved with the mentor. You see we have a lot of different members right here. And then that's where we, we call this a mentorship program. We don't do live sessions, but a mentor is available over here all the time. Whenever you send a message the next day or in a few hours, you get a reply from the engineer. The main goal of this program is to prepare you for the real world IT admin roles. Now, of course, we're not going to make you a master of any of these roles. Like I mentioned, all of these roles are very broad and can even take a whole career for you to build yourself. So this is a starting point. Consider this program to be the mindset breaker, the icebreaker, whatever you want to call it. This should be the first core services that you need to learn. Even if you become a very advanced engineer, even right now without too much knowledge and somebody gives you a chance, you still will struggle with IP configuration, knowledge about IP addressing, knowledge about networking, knowledge about different things that you're going to come across at the very core level. Usually people come back to this stuff information one way or another way. Now how to get started. On this page, fill out this form. We would like to see the basic information before you start this program. This program is designed for people who are already working in IT for at least six months and now you would like to transition to the admin roles. This program is not designed for someone who is brand new to IT and you are now looking for the first job in IT. I will not recommend this program because it is little advanced information for you. And for that, I would recommend you take our IT Pro Skills Development Program, which is also available on our website. After registration, if you are approved to this program, we will send you a Discord invitation with the invoice. Of course, after payment, you are going to get the invoice invitation and then you will join the Discord. Here's the program trainer, a Cisco engineer. He's going to welcome you in the program with the tips and everything included that how to get started of course you will reply to it and then we will get to know you 
uh, at the individual level. Then the program administrators will start assigning you tasks. So this will include a first three months to the test out platform, which is a Network Plus Pro access, and you will be finishing that access with our tasks given to you step by step. So you're not getting any confusion over here. You will be given the task. So let's say you join this program, you are being welcomed, you started doing interaction with the trainer, and then trainer gave you the task, and then you will log into your test out platform. Just like this, you will be given access to the test out network pro, and we will tell you exactly what to cover for task one. So let's assume for task one, you need to finish introduction, networking basics, and network cabling. So once you click on introduction, you can see there's a video, and then there are more videos, and then you have labs that are simulated in test out platform. So let's click on it and see how the lab looks like. So let's go ahead and click on start. So this is how the test out lab looks like. It's a very powerful simulated uh, type of labs where you get a full blown computer scenarios and then of course the hardware which in this program you're going to learn a lot of that as well like you you need to know uh, what is a different type of devices and hardware cabling and all that sort of stuff so it is going to cover that in, in a lot more advanced than just cpus and things like this but this is just to give you an example of when you finish these three chapters then you are going to have questions you may have some sort of task to complete so once you do that you're going to be interacting with your trainer again in discord so this is why it is such a powerful and hands-on and at the same time a very flexible program because you can be taking this program from anywhere around the world if you have an internet connection you don't need any special equipments you just need to use your laptop to get to the powerful systems now it is not going to be just test out after this in the task we will give you jss access so jss is basically same uh, you, v videos and things like that but it's done by the trainer so when you go over the test out there are things that we think are missing from this uh, platform and our trainer basically added more lectures to it to make it even better and more to the job role specific type of training and then even in that we have then labs available so you will be doing a lot of hands-on work so here's an important tip for you if you're taking this program if you're not mentally ready you're you're not your mind is not ready to become an admin then i think this is not a good program for you the reason for that is that you will be getting a lot of access a lot of hands-on material will be given to you but you have to finish it or else you will lose it and we do not give refunds because a lot of work has been put in to help you so there's no refunds so you will be losing that money and then uh, all of this energy will be wasted so we don't even recommend people if you don't if you're not mentally ready to become an admin then don't take this program because you are going to be wasting your energy and the people around you are very passionate about helping you their energy will be wasted as well this whole training can prepare you potentially prepare you for network plus ccna partial uh, and then other certifications are related to this type of skills but again we're not focusing on certification over here we're not going to give you quizzes and things like that that's why we're creating all the skills-based course because we don't just believe in papers or you know you going through let's say 100 hours of powerpoints and things like that and pass certification this is the problem over here a lot of people go for jobs and then they're unable to uh, defend what they have learned in the certification so that's why you're taking this course now to make sure that you're skillfully ready for this type of roles so as a student if you're taking all of this course this is 40 hours worth of training once you finish it what can you do with it well if you're working as an IT support professional or anybody that is looking for a job to transition you're going to be looking for anything systems administrator titles network administrator IT administrator and there are many more titles that are in this same category now keep in mind if any company is going to put something like a hundred K plus now you shouldn't think that you're taking this course and you're just going to be automatically be capable of $115,000 a year. Now that's possible, but I'm not going to go with luckiness. This is something that I will say, okay, this person got lucky. You're trying to transition into a junior roles, which a lot of people, let's say, I'm going to give you an example. If you are making 65K as an IT support professional somewhere or 55 or 45, you are going to jump to most likely 75 or 80 something like that i'm just kind of keeping it very real in some areas now that may not be totally true in your area where you live 
which country you're from. So you have to do your own research of when you transition from IT support roles, what is a market value for this type of skills? This is something you have to do. Your research will be required. Now, when you look at descriptions of these jobs, you're going to come across seven years, five years, four years, and that's okay because like I said, some of these companies are very serious about bringing somebody experience so then they can take over expensive equipment and troubleshooting and that is totally fine because companies don't just want to risk things or security risks for bringing someone who doesn't have this type of knowledge. Now there are many other companies, there are service providers, there are companies that are looking for junior level sysadmins. Let's say they have a senior admin working there for many, many years. Now that senior admin usually try to push the company staff or IT managers that, hey, I need some help over here. That's something that I'm talking about small or mid-sized companies that usually have something like this. So now if you have the skills from this course, you are a candidate. Don't look at this five years or seven years on job description and thinking that you may not be able to even get a chance. And that is something, this is the biggest mistake that a lot of people do. And if you don't apply, you don't, you don't get no chance. You're, you have zero chances. So if you apply, at least you have that 1% chance that you will be picked because people are looking for you like that. I always give this example that there are 10 companies, nine will reject you because they're looking for an expert. But this one company, like I said, that are in the same situation where somebody expert is sitting out there. They don't want to do all this work. They want to give it to somebody else. They will teach you, but they also don't want to bring someone extremely new to IT that where that becomes a headache for that expert to teach you everything from scratch. That's just not going to happen these days, most likely. So this is why if you do this course, you have that out of nine companies, you have one company. And of course, you can only land one job. And that is the positive approach you should take. If you get rejected 10 times, that's fine. Go for the 11th time. So coming back to the job description, you're going to see something like systems administrator. That's going to have a lot of server related experience. They're, they're going to dump everything in there. Nexus, Cisco, security, every single thing in the whole world. But that's not going to um, these job descriptions are just, you know, crazy. And it's, uh, of course, like, like from this course, it's also crazy because it's 40 hours and you're going to cover a lot of it. As you can see, there's a system administrator and network title in one job. And now that is a little lower than the one we were looking before. The years are also lower and it just requires you to know the business, uh, the help desk experience. So if you have the help desk experience, prior experience, and you come up with this course and you say, look, I know all of this stuff. You don't have to match every single thing, but maybe even if you know, let's say four things out of this list, you're still a pretty good candidate for this job then. So this is what we are going to target. In our next video, we will talk about the content. How are we going to deliver this training in different ways? So let's talk about that right now. So now let's talk about some of the FAQs. Uh, do we offer live sessions in this program? We do not offer live session as this is a modern way of teaching. We give you everything like Testa, which has videos, labs, and then practice labs uh, with our own membership. So it's a lot of hands-on practice and it takes time. So live sessions is not a an option for us. But we do offer meetings with uh, trainers on Sundays. And usually that could be second Sunday or based on your availability to make sure that you are being guided if you have any technical questions or things like that. So that's where we counter uh, things like that. If you need a test out support or practice lab support, so both uh, training licenses gives you access to their support. So if you get stuck in a lab or your system is not working, your license is having an issue, so then you will have a support available. Does this access include the test out certification and its benefits? Yes, the test out access for three months will give you a voucher for Network Pro for test out exam. And this also prepares you for Network Plus for CompTIA if you want to go for it. We do not offer CompTIA certifications or exams or vouchers. It's going to be only for test out and you must finish that in three months of your access. Does this program include premium membership? If you are uh, getting this program for the first time and you're not our member, light or premium member, then yes, you, it will be included. If your premium membership is expiring, like say you have 90 days left, then we will give you the deduction amount, but you still have to pay when it's time for you to do the lab. So even if it's not included, if your membership expires, you will have to pay for your membership for the labs um, in this training. So. Just keep that in mind. If you are a light member, then you can deduct that. But then once your membership is expired, you need to renew the membership only. 
So here we have some other information available on this page. You can also try it. And if you have more questions, let us know on this page. We have email numbers and everything available for you. Thank you.